Abby and I would always talk about, you know, like a scene that we would have coming up and we would always go, oh. What was it like to have Rosie O'Donnell on set? Um, and did she come with any advice or any input on her end? It was pretty magical. We were pretty thrilled by it. You know, she it wasn't necessarily advice as much as she just told, she knew what the movie meant to us. Like she didn't pretend like it wasn't a thing because it was a thing. So she, she let us ask a million questions and she told us little behind the scenes stories and, you know, went into her like Penny Marshall voice and her Madonna voice and everything. And we were just sort of like giddy and, and surrounding her, you know, she like, I remember her little chair was set up and everybody's chair was like, spread out throughout the the um the room and by the end of it everybody's chair was like right up against her like the story time we we were thrilled to have her and she was amazing how would you describe Greta and carson's dynamic and what was important to you to highlight in that relationship as they navigate it together yeah Greta and carson's dynamic and that relationship i think i think a lot of queer uh people I'm um, obviously not speaking for everyone. A lot of queer people have had an experience of the first, their course, their first queer experience being like this like very important and pivotal moment in their lives and a very important person that sort of uh, helps you know yourself in that way or pulls you into that world. And we really wanted to like Greta's character is really guarded and has a lot of boundaries up and is going to like shed layers over the course of the season. And in the beginning, you know, the beginning of the pilot, there's a line that's so harsh and where she says, I thought so after the, the kiss at the end of the pilot. And that felt so like, it makes me, it makes me angry even to think about it because like, that's such a, like what's happening. And then you see why she does it. You see why she's, She's with the soldier at the end of that episode. And just to have those two individuals meet and the way in which they change each other's lives, I think that was what we were going for. That your first career experience is so important for all the reasons, but also Carson is really important to Greta too in that she really opens her up again. I think Car Greta kind of feels like that she wouldn't allow herself to fall in love in that way. And our dynamic, you know, I've known Darcy for 15 years. She's one of my best friends. And so I feel like we got a, when you start there, you just feel the history, you know, we're not in, we're, I'm not in love with Darcy romantically, but I'm definitely in love with her as, as one of my best friends. And I think the, she's like the kind of Greta that we needed where I think the audience immediately falls in love with her too. I mean, you know, Greta and Carson have this, um, I mean, it's not that, I mean, it's a little tumultuous, but they're, it's like confusing and they're, it's complex. And, and there's a lot of them telling themselves no, you know, and then occasionally telling each other no, and then yes. And they kind of can't stay away from each other, but it's confusing even, even to them. Like, why, why is this happening with this person? And, you know, Car oh, Carson, hilarious. Abby and I like really fell in love with our characters. Like she, Carson and Abby are one and me and Greta are one. And we really like wanted to honor these characters. And <laughs> Abby and I would always talk about, you know, like a scene that we would have coming up and we would always go, oh, like we would find ourselves being like, oh, I just wanted to like work out for them. Like, you know, she's writing these scenes that are like breakup scenes or whatever. And we're, and we're just like sobbing, but it, it, it was, you know, having worked with Abby for years and knowing her for 10 plus years, it was um, pretty special to like get to play these two characters with each other. And, and, and um, it wasn't like lost on us that we got to, what like we would we would kind of pinch ourselves a lot like I you know coming up together in UCB in New York in this like dirty basement theater where we were doing you know comedy for free and then Abby giving me this like incredible role on this incredible show we would we there was a lot of like look around holy crap can you believe that this is what we get to do with each other